hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is anuta the crochet bald and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos and today we're gonna do this beautiful pattern for a hat for a summer hat and it looks like this i've used here uh, my uh, spiral circle pattern and it looks like this and for this hat i've used my 100 percent cotton yarn and i've used uh, 5 mm of the hook now for the colors here i've used three colors now the first color is this uh, green one so it's here i've used my this uh, drop for you unicotton classic eight by eight cotton and this one is 100 percent cotton and the color shade is 09 dial lot is 0691 uh, the second color is the white one and it's again drops love you uh, again classic eight by eight cotton it's um 100 cotton and the color is zero one and the dye lot is zero six nine one and the third color is my peach color and for this peach color i've used yarn and colors epic one so i've used a different yarn here and this one is again 100 percent cotton yarn and the color is peach color uh, the code is 04 and the dial lot is 1141. So here it is. I've used this three colors and I've used my 5 mm of the hook. This hat is perfect for a small or a medium adult size. So this hat is for an adult, but um, it goes in medium or a small size or medium to small size. Uh, it's perfect for that one. And for the brim. Now the brim here, I've used my uh, double crochet stitches. And for that one, because the stitches are longer enough, the brim might will get loose. So to hold my brim, I've used my this wire. Uh, now I've got this wire from the pound store. Um, you can have it uh, from any DIY store or any uh, pound store or any dollar store. You can get it from there. Uh, it's really very cheap one. Uh, if you want uh, an improvised version of this wire, you can find a brim wire, uh, specifically brim wire. And you can find that brim wire from Amazon or eBay or anywhere. So this wire is easily available and it's really very cheap. But if you don't want to use this one, it's also completely optional. You do not need to use that one. Uh, it's just that your brim will might get loose like this. Uh, I've inserted the wire here and that's why the brim is been holded up like this and that's it so let's begin okay so here I'm gonna take my this first color and I'm gonna have a magic circle here so for the magic circle just put your yarn around your fingers like this make an axe here and put your second strain of yarn at the back now have your hook and insert your hook in this way so make an axe here and just insert your hook in this way now grab your yarn uh, grab your second strain of yarn through your first strain of yarn and turn your hook uh, in this way and that's it this is your magic circle now here i'm gonna chain one now this chain one i'm not gonna count as any stitch this chain one i've made only to secure my this uh, magic circle now here i'm gonna insert my hook and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make one single crochet here now again I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into my this magic circle and we'll grab the yarn and here I'm going to make a half double crochet. So one single crochet and one half double crochet. Now next two stitches will be our double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into this magic circle, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops, yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. So this is your third stitch and that's your double crochet. And your fourth stitch is going to be again your one double crochet so here we're gonna have our four stitches one single crochet one half double crochet and two double crochets and i'm gonna leave my this yarn like this now i'm gonna change the color now here i'm gonna have my second color so for that one i'm gonna insert my this second color we'll take this one Here it is and i'm gonna make a chain one here now i'm making this chain one only to secure my this second uh color here my second 
uh, yarn here like this so this chain one is not a stitch i've made this chain one only to secure my this um second color now again we're going to repeat this pattern so i have one single crochet here now one half double crochet and next two stitches will be our double crochet so it's one and our second double crochet so one single crochet one half double crochet and another two stitches are uh, our two double crochets and now we're gonna leave this yarn as well and now we're gonna attach our third color here now i'm gonna attach my this third color again i'm gonna make a chain one here now this chain one is not a stitch i just made this chain one only to secure my this uh, third color with my this magic circle now here again we're gonna repeat our pattern so make one single crochet here one half double crochet and one double crochet and second one is our double crochet and like this now here we're gonna pull over this loose end of our this magic circle and this is the end of our round number one and after our round number one we have 12 stitches here and after our this round number one we're going to leave our this um, yarn here now we will go to our first color so we will take our this first yarn and now onwards we're going to have our stitches of double crochets so here it is it's our one two three um and four one two three and four so we got our this four stitches here now yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn and make one double crochet yarn over and insert your hook again to that same stitch grab your yarn and make one more double crochet here into the next stitch two double crochets so it's one and two again into our next stitch have one two double crochets sorry so it's one and two and into your this last stitch we're gonna have two stitches it's one and two and it will be like this don't worry about this your last stitch don't worry about this one it's not uh, gonna loosen out we are just gonna leave this um, yarn here and we will take over this second color now our second color is here but don't worry it's gonna be all all right see it's all nice and clear now now again we're gonna repeat our this pattern in here so here you're gonna find your next four stitches and on top of this next four stitches we're gonna have another eight stitches just as what we have done here so yarn over and insert your hook into your this first stitch if you want to count one two three and four so you can count like that and that's your first stitch so just make your two double crochets on this first stitch again into your second stitch have two double crochets again into your third stitch have two double crochets again into your this fourth stitch have two double crochets don't worry if you have this stitch a little bit loose it's gonna be all right And here it is it's all done leave this color and we're gonna go to over this last color now here whenever you are doing with your this last color just be a little careful as you're not gonna find your four stitches here as you have already worked on this one so you might will get confused in here but do not worry just come from here so this is your first stitch it's one two three and four so we're gonna work only on this four stitches so yarn over and insert your hook into this last sorry your first stitch make two double crochets here so it's one two into your next stitch have two double crochets it's one and two into your third stitch have two double crochets it's 
one and two and into at this last fourth stitch have two double crochets so it's one and two and that's it at the end of our round number two we have our 24 stitches in total we have 24 stitches in here now for your round number three just take out this um hook from this yarn and take your first color which is in our case it's white color and now here we're gonna start our round number three now for the round number three i'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll do my one double crochet here now if you want to remember that this is your first stitch you can put your stitch marker here sometimes it's difficult to understand which is your first stitch so that's why just put your stitch marker if you can remember which is your first stitch it's completely all right you don't need this stitch marker so next time when you're working on this color your last color you only have to work on these stitches so that you will remember that these are the stitches you will have to work on you will not get confused now here for our round number three in total we're gonna have 36 stitches and for each color we are gonna have 12 stitches so for this one this is our first double crochet now go to a next stitch and have two double crochets here so it's one and two now into your next stitch have one double crochet into your next stitch have two double crochets into your next stitch have one double crochet and into your next stitch have two double crochets again into your next stitch have one double crochet and into your next stitch your last stitch have two double crochets it's one and two like this and here we have our 12 stitches so this is our first stitch it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve we got our 12 stitches here now you have to go to this second color and have and repeat exactly the same pattern here have one double crochet then two double crochets on the next stitch uh, have one double crochet on the stitch after that and then have two double crochets into that uh, one stitch and keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end here don't forget to change the color of your yarn Again, on your on this green color, you're going to have your next 12 stitches. And on this last peach color, I'm going to have next 12 stitches until here. And I'm going to meet you after my round number three. In total, I'm going to have 36 stitches on my this round, round number three. And here it is. After my round number three, my work looks like this. And I have my 36 um, stitches here. Each color have 12 stitches. Now. As I finished up my work in this and this is my uh, stitch marker now I will take my this first color and now I'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into my this first stitch and will grab the yarn and will make a one single crochet for one double crochet for my round number four now take out this stitch marker and put your stitch marker here this is the first stitch of your this round the round number four now here as we have made our this one stitch into our next stitch have one double crochet so for your first stitch have one double crochet into your next stitch have one double crochet and into your this third stitch have two double crochets into that one stitch and now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this color until end of here and in total here you're gonna have your 16 uh, stitches 16 double crochets so that's uh, first two stitches we're going to have one double crochet on each stitch and into this third stitch we are going to have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one one and into a third stitch have two double crochets so it's one and two now here on this round round number four each color will have 16 stitches and in total you're gonna have 48 stitches here it is at the end of my um first color of my round number four i have my 16 stitches here so it's 
this is my first stitch it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 16 stitches now we are going to change the color and we're going to repeat exactly the same uh, pattern what we have done here so here again next two stitches have one single have one double crochet into each stitch i don't know why i'm keep saying single crochet here uh, have one double crochet into each stitch for your next two stitches so here it is one and two and into this third stitch have two double crochets here it's one and two again next two stitches have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one and two and into your next stitch have two double crochets into that one stitch and again on this color for your round number four you're gonna have next 16 stitches and we are gonna repeat exactly the same for our this last color our third color and your last stitch will be here and on this last color again you're gonna have your next 16 stitches and in total for this round round number four you're gonna have your 48 stitches 48 double crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is at the end of my round number four i got my 48 stitches here and it looks like this now here i've made my this last stitch here so that was my first stitch and it's all done now for your next round round number five take your this first color and here yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch make your one double crochet and put your stitch marker here as this is your first stitch and here for your round number five next three stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so this is your first double crochet and into your next stitch have one double crochet and into your next stitch your third stitch have one double crochet so first three stitches have one double crochet and into your this next fifth stitch have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two again next three stitches have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one two and three and into this next stitch have two double crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two and here it is we're going to repeat our this pattern and by the end of this color you're going to have your 20 stitches and on each color you're going to have 20 20 stitches so by the end of your round number five you're going to have 60 stitches in total so here have next three stitches have one double crochet into each stitch and into a fourth stitch have two double crochet into that one stitch again next three stitches have one double crochet into uh, that uh, each stitch and into your last stitch have two double crochets and in total you're going to have your 20 stitches on this first color and we're going to repeat about this pattern for your next two colors and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is after my round number five my work looks like this and in total i have 60 stitches here each color have 20 stitches and now for your round number six i'm gonna take my this first color and yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn and make your one single crochet here and put your stitch marker here so that you will remember later on that this is your first stitch now here on our this round round number six we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch until the end of this um round all over the round until the end of this color for this white uh, color just have one double crochet on each stitch and then we're going to change the color and we're going to take over the second color and have one double crochet on each stitch in here and then at the end we're going to have this last color and have one double crochet into each stitch until here now for your round number six again you're going to have your 60 stitches one double crochet on each stitch so here we got our one double crochet and I'm gonna have my this second double crochet my third double crochet four five nineteen and twenty so here it is i have my 20 stitches on this round and now i'm gonna leave my this color and we'll change the color here 
and again i'm going to repeat exactly the same pattern here so have one double crochet on each stitch and you're going to have 20 stitches here and keep on doing one double crochet on each stitch and change your color whenever it's required after every 20 stitches and i'm going to meet you after my this round round number six and here it is after my round number six my work looks like this don't worry if your work is uh, standing up in here it will go down like this after you some um other rows so don't worry about that now onwards we are going to repeat our this row number six until our row number 12 so keep on repeating this pattern having one double crochet on each stitch and each color will have 20 stitches for your each uh, rows and your each row will have 60 stitches and go until round number 12 and i'm gonna meet you after my round number 12 and here it is after my round number 12 my work looks like this and now for the round number 13 from round number 13 we're gonna start building our brim and for that one have your first color here and here into your first stitch have two double crochets so it's one and two now if you want you can put your stitch marker here so just take out your stitch marker and just put it here on your first stitch so that's your first two double crochets into one stitch and into your next stitch have two double crochets so it's one and two and now next 16 stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one two three and here this i have my 16 uh, double crochets so first two stitches have two double crochets into each stitch and next 16 stitches have one double crochet into each stitch and into your remaining two stitches we're gonna have two double crochets into each stitch so it's one and two another next stitch have another two double crochets so it's one and two and that's it so here in total you have your 24 stitches for this one color and we are going to repeat exactly the same pattern for our next two colors so take out this um hook from your this first color and have your second color and here again you're gonna have first two stitches we're gonna have two double crochets into each stitch so it's one two one and two and next 16 stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch and then into your remaining two stitches have two double crochets into each stitch and in total on this color as well you're gonna have your 24 stitches now for your round number 13 this round in total um for your all three colors you're gonna have 72 stitches so in total you're gonna have 72 stitches and each color will have 24 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my round number 30. and here it is i finished my round number 30. now for your round number 14 have your first color and again into your next stitch you're gonna have two double crochets into your first stitch so it's one and two two double crochets into one stitch put your stitch marker here On your first stitch and into your next stitch we are gonna have two double crochets into that one stitch so here for the first stitch we have two double crochets into your next stitch we're gonna have two double crochets so it's one and two so for first two stitches have two double crochets into each stitch and now next 20 stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one two three nineteen and twenty 
So here it is. First two stitches have two double crochets into each stitch and next 20 stitches have one double crochet into each stitch. And now for this remaining two stitches, we're going to have two double crochets into each stitch. So it's one and two. Here it is. One and two. And in total, we're going to have 28 stitches for our this round, round number 14, for our one color. Now here, we're going to take our next color and we're going to repeat exactly the same for our next two colors. So for next two stitches, have two double crochets into each stitch. And then next 20 stitches, have one double crochet into each stitch. And into your remaining two stitches, have Two double crochets into each stitch and in total you're gonna have 28 stitches for each color for this round round number 14 you're gonna have 84 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my round number 14 and here it is after my round number 14 i have made this 82 stitches 84 stitches sorry and now for your round number 15 have your first color and for your next 12 stitches we're going to have one double crochet into each stitch so it's yarn over and insert your hook into this next stitch have one double crochet into a second stitch one double crochet into a third stitch your third double crochet keep on having one double crochet into each stitch for the next 12 stitches sorry i forgot to put my this uh, stitch marker here so this is going to be our stitch marker put your stitch marker here One, two, three, and four. So let's go here. And now have one double crochet into each stitch for 12 stitches. Here we already got four stitches, and that's gonna be our fifth stitch. Here it is. For the first 12 stitches, we have our one double crochet into each stitch, and now next four stitches, we're gonna have two double crochets into each stitch. So into your this next stitch, have two double crochets into your uh, that one stitch so it's one and two into your next stitch it's one two into your this third stitch it's one two and into your this fourth stitch one and two so here it is. First 12 stitches have one double crochet into each stitch and then next four stitches have two double crochets into each stitch. And now you got next 12 stitches and here we're going to have one double crochet into each stitch until the end of our this color until here. So we got our 12 stitches here have one double crochet on each stitch and we're going to repeat this pattern for next two colors here we got 32 stitches and in total for your round number 15 you're gonna have 96 stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is after my round number 15 my work looks like this and now for your round number 16 have your first color and for the first stitch we're gonna have two double crochets into each into that one stitch so it's one and two now put your stitch marker here on your first stitch so that you will remember that this is your first stitch and now next 14 stitches we're going to have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one two three four here it is for the first stitch we have two double crochets into that one stitch and then next 14 stitches we have one double crochet into each stitch and now for the next two stitches we're gonna have two double crochet into that one stitch so it's one and two for the first stitch and for the second stitch it's one and two and now again next 14 stitches we're gonna have one double crochet into each stitch so it's one two three and 
14. So here it is. We got our next 14 stitches, one double crochet into each stitch. And for our this last stitch, we're going to have two double crochets into that one stitch. So it's one and two. Now in total, for this color, for this one color, we're going to have 36 stitches. So here, for the first stitch, I have made two double crochets into one stitch then next 14 stitches we have done one double crochet into each stitch and then in this middle two stitches two double crochets into next two stitches and then next 14 stitches one double crochet into each stitch and then into this last stitch we got two double crochet into uh, this one stitch in total you got 36 stitches on this uh, one color and we're going to repeat exactly the same for our next two colors so again for your next stitch here, for the, your next color, have one double crochet into this one stitch. Next 14 stitches have one double crochet into each stitch. Then next two stitches have two double crochets into both your stitches. And then again, next 14 stitches have one double crochet into each stitch. And into your last stitch, have two double crochets into that one stitch. And in total, you're going to have 36 stitches for each color. And... In total, for your round number 16, you're going to have 108 stitches, 108 stitches. And I'm going to meet you after my this round, round number 16. Here it is. After my round number 16, I have 108 stitches and my work looks like this. Now, for your round number 17, have your first color. And here, we're going to have one double crochet into each stitch until our next 32 stitches so keep on having one double crochet into each stitch so it's your first double crochet take out your the stitch marker and put your stitch marker here on your first stitch and now have one double crochet on each stitch for next 32 stitches so this is our first double crochet and that's second, third. Here it is. I have my 32 stitches, one double crochet into each stitch. And now for this next four stitches, this remaining four stitches, we're going to have one double crochet into our next stitch. Now yarn over and insert your hook into your next stitch and have one half double crochet. And now into your next stitch, have one single crochet. And into this last stitch, have one slip stitch like this. So here we're going to finish up our work. So until your 32 stitches, have one double crochet into each stitch. Then into your 33 stitch, have one double crochet. Into your 34 stitch, have your one half double crochet. Into your 35th stitch, have one single crochet. And into your last stitch, 36th stitch, have one slip stitch. And that's how we are going to close over this colors here. And we're going to repeat exactly the same pattern for our next two colors. So again, for this next color, have one double crochet into each stitch for next 32 stitches. And then into your 33rd stitch, have one double crochet. Into your 34th stitch, have one half double crochet. Into your 35th stitch, have one single crochet. And into your last stitch, 36th stitch, have your slip stitch. And I'm going to meet you at the end here. And... By the end, you're going to have 108 stitches in total, including your half double crochet, single crochet and slip stitch, including all stitches. You're going to have 108 stitches and I'm going to meet you at the end of this round, round number 17. And here it is after my round number 17, my work looks like this. And now I'm going to cut my yarn except my this green color because I'm going to keep on working with this green color. So I will cut my this yarn and my this white yarn with my peach yarn and my white yarn and we'll put my this loose ends in and I will leave this yarn as it is as I'm gonna work on this one for my round number 18. So just cut your yarn and put your loose ends in and I'm gonna meet you after that. And here it is. Now for your round number 18 just take out this green color and here we have made our this slip stitch so here we're gonna skip over these next two stitches it's one and two and we'll go to this third stitch now yarn over and insert your hook into this third stitch grab your yarn 
and make one double crochet and into this third stitch we're gonna have six double crochets so that's our first double crochet two three four five and six like this again we're gonna skip over this next two stitches it's one and two and we will go to this third stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here now chain three one two and three and insert your hook again to that same stitch grab your yarn and make a slip stitch so here we're gonna make our picket and now we're gonna repeat our pattern all the way around until here so again as we are here we're gonna skip our next two stitches it's one and two and we will go to this third stitch and into this third stitch we will make our six double crochet so it's one two three four five and six we have six double crochets now skip next two stitches one and two and into it that's third stitch we're gonna make a picket so insert your hook grab your yarn make a slip stitch chain three and insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn and make a slip stitch and it will look like this now keep on repeating this pattern until the end uh, all the way around until the end here and i'm gonna meet you here and here it is i'm at my last picket of my this round round number 18 i'm just gonna insert my hook into my this slip stitch we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch in here chain three and insert your hook again into that same stitch and make a slip stitch and that's it it is all done i'm going to cut my yarn and then secure my this last stitch and now i'm going to put my this loose end in and i'm going to meet you after that and here it is our hat is almost ready now i've put my this all loose ends in and it is almost done now if you want to leave your hat like this you can leave your hat like this this is your um let me just tell you this is your brim uh part and here what happened is we have taken over this double crochet stitches and that's why it might be possible that your brim is not hard enough uh, to hold by itself so if you want your brim to be up like this because if you will uh, wear this one it will go down if you want to leave it like this you can leave it like this it's completely all right it's completely up to you but if you want your brim to be up and to be straight what i have done here is i have taken my this little wire now this wire is really very uh thin i find this whole uh bundle like this and you can have this one and you can put this into your hat so for that i will just take this uh wire like this and i will insert my wire in here so this one is basically your round number 18 sorry this is your round number 18 and this is your round number 17 so i'm going to insert my this wire inside my round number 17 like this taking all these um stitches like this so just insert them like this and go all the way around all the way around and this will give a hold to your brim so just keep on doing this and i will tell you how to cut your this wire and how to hide it inside and here it is i've got my this wires in and now i will simply have my this scissors and will cut them from here that's it and now simply just put them in like this so you are gonna get the sorry you're gonna get the double layer here so just simply put in like this to lock them here again on this side as well just put them in and lock them inside and here it is it is all done my brain is now nice and secure and hold it up and it looks like this 
and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye